good afternoon students the topic for today is rheumatoid arthritis and this shall be one of the last topics in bone and joints kindly follow it as it is an important question in surgery orthopedics and pathology where it can come as an essay a short essay or quite a good number of mcqs the general features of this it is defined as a chronic inflammatory disorder of autoimmune origin producing a non suppurative arthritis suppurative means there is no infection non suppurative the age is 30 to 60 years and females are having a greater predilection than males in the ratio of 3 is to 1 common in monozygotic twins there is a variant called juvenile variant which occurs in children less than 16 years of age but basically remember that it is an autoimmune disorder a prototype just like sle or rheumatoid arthritis so you can give this answer even for that question the general features continued the common sites are the small joints of the hands and feet followed by wrists and elbows ankles and knees sometimes the spine is involved in a variant called ankylosing spondylitis it is a disease that is associated with hla dr4 and hla dr1 please remember these two things human leukocyte antigen and the important joints which are affected are given here proximal interphalangeal and metacarpophalangeal joints there can be an ulnar deviation of the wrist sometimes there is a z shaped deformity which we shall be see there is a hammer toe this is a picture of a hammer toe it can be explained later and sometimes there is so much of damage that is created it is called arthritis mutilans i would like you people to draw this picture a lot of information is given in this so this is a bone covered by a cartilage which is undergoing loss and you find that there can be an edema and inflammation of the synovium there is also a destruction of the underlying bone and there is a formation of eosinophilic substance called the pannus please draw this diagram and appreciate the fusiform shape this again is a photograph of an ulnar deviation look at the hand deviating towards the ulnar side another deformity that can be seen as a swan neck or a goose neck deformity of the fingers a normal picture this again can be drawn look at it cartilage is normal this is a joint space whereas here i am finding a deposition of pannus and there is an erosion inflammation of the synovium this picture can be followed this is a normal half and this is a pathological half in the normal half all the components are shown i will not deal into it whereas in rheumatoid arthritis there is an inflammation of the synovium major cells are the t lymphocytes and the macrophages these are chronic inflammatory cells following this inflammation there is a proliferation of the fibroblasts and these will be the other cells which can be found the synovial fluid which will be containing the neutrophils mainly so these are the components of it just remember because there is something else to follow there is a thickening of the synovial membrane edema and synovial hyperplasia synovium is a tissue it has got layers and hyperplasia means 
increased proliferation there is a dense inflammatory infiltrate both in the joints as well as in the joint space fibrin deposition and necrosis so the eosinophilic acellular material that is being formed constitutes the panus so you should be able to describe the evolution of a panus and look at this particular picture again i am finding that there is a loss of the articular cartilage and there is an edematous fluid over here a thickening of the synovium and an erosion of the underlying bone also sometimes the panus is just flat but later on it can become larger to fill the entire joint space that will be the de demineralization of the underlying bone erosion of the cartilage and in some cases you find that the bones themselves will be fused which is called as bony ankylosis a fibrous ankylosis and bony ankylosis these lead to fusion of the bone edema will be spreading to the periarticular region also and there will be a fusiform shape which we have already seen a lot of this inflammatory infiltrate that will be covering the synovium panus is a question for you people antibodies antibody is a substance that is produced when there is an antigen introduced into but sometimes you find that there can be antibodies produced against our own cells they are called auto antibodies rheumatoid factor is a circulating auto antibody and there is a peculiar section you find that the igg is the usual antibody there is a fc portion of it it is one strange disease where an antigen itself can be the antibody the same igg can act as an antigen as well as an antibody antigen and antibody are the same apart from this there can be anti nuclear antibody anti collagen antibody anti cytoskeletal antibody please remember these because this will be the basis of the pathogenesis auto antibodies how do they get evolved there is a breakdown in the tolerance if you people go to the topic on autoimmune disorders one of the theories will be a breakdown in the self tolerance the system does not tolerate our own cells these are the b cells which produce the antibodies and you find that these are the antibodies and they go and combine with the tissue and get deposited deposition of the antigen antibody complexes in the joints so this is a humoral mechanism there is also the activation of the complement and lot of inflammatory cells are recruited such as neutrophils macrophages and mast cells so these are the mast cells over here neutrophils and the macrophages and as these cells come they have got a devastating effect they will produce a lot of inflammatory mediators and look at the this. in the background i am finding a panus that is getting formed and this is covering the articular cartilage as well and all these are cell mediated and some of the mediators i will be showing in the next slide look at this one these are the cytokines the interleukins tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin 6 so these will be the mediators which realize the action of these inflammatory cells and this is an aspirate from a patient having rheumatoid arthritis which has been hemorrhagic some of the radiological and the clinical features this is a normal hand and wrist that we are seeing but in this picture i am finding that there is an ulnar deviation this can be picked up on the x ray very easily ulnar deviation of the hand there is another condition called the hammer toe initially i thought it will be as though a hammer is hitting on a toe and breaking it it is not so because of the cripple you find that there is a shape that is obtained 
this is almost a hammer like in shape and this is called a hammer toe another abnormality will be the subcutaneous nodules this is a picture that has been provided by national rheumatoid arthritis society in which multiple subcutaneous nodules will be seen and these will be again granulomatous lesions with fibrinoid necrosis so what are the extra articular lesions please remember these we have mentioned the tendinomuscular periarticular inflammation subcutaneous nodules which will show fibrinoid necrosis epithelioid cells macrophages and lymphocytes blood vessels can show necrotizing vasculitis this is important because it can cause necrosis of the tissue that is involved and lung flora pericardium can present with the kaplan syndrome kaplan syndrome is an arthritis with an underlying disease we have seen that in asbestosis as well in the eye there can be uveitis in the heart myocardial infarction as i mentioned it can be secondary to vasculitis thrombus formation and embolus and mnemonic that i picked up from the net i think direct credit goes to them only so this is the one so felty syndrome is one of the variants of the rheumatoid arthritis and santa s for splenomegaly a for anemia n for neutropenia t for thrombocytopenia and a for arthritis which is rheumatoid the entire credit goes to this team over here the variants are these a juvenile rheumatoid arthritis we had mentioned earlier occurs in young children inflammation splenomegaly and lymphadenopathy these are the three components felties we had seen in the previous slide that is another variant the third one is ankylosing spondylitis this is associated with hla b27 and it affects the spine and it can produce a bamboo spine like deformity what is this bamboo spine this is a healthy spine the vertebrae are there with the intervertebral disc there is an inflammation and later on that can be a fibrosis and the fusion of the spines as a result of which it has an appearance of a bamboo stick this is called a bamboo spine the investigations some of them are non specific some of them are highly specific we shall see the x ray will show an osteopenia loss of bone mri can be used to pick up esr is raised c reactive protein because it is basically an inflammatory reaction radiologically there is an ulnar deviation narrowing of the joint space there is an antibody called as accp cyclic citrullinated peptide antibody there is a rheumatoid factor which is classical ra factor this can be seen in rheumatoid arthritis sometimes in sle 75% of the cases are positive ele cell again is a prototype of cell which can be seen in rheumatoid arthritis as well as sle where it is mainly seen monoclonal antibodies for macrophages these are something specific that can be done in the laboratory to make a diagnosis and the treatment is mentioned here the non steroidal as well as steroids can be given sometimes a surgical treatment such as synovectomy fusion of the joints or replacement sometimes there are drugs that are used to modify the anti rheumatoid arthritis so this is one this is modifying anti rheumatoid arthritis drugs tnf inhibitors physiotherapy and occupational therapy form the main stem after the diagnosis is made helping the patient to come back to the protein life this tabular column i will not go into but i put it intentionally because osteoarthritis is a question and all the details are given here go through them for example rheumatoid factor positive anti ccp is positive esr etc which are negative over here so this particular one you will 
study this is also a question for you in pathology and this is a summary of it you will have to mention the various things the pathogenesis the autoimmune basis of it evolution of the disease what are the extra articular manifestations and what are the other related diseases and this is instant incidentally the hammer toe deformity that we have seen mercy